Hi, AT from CNC at Home. Last time we did a uh, router project, we did a maze, uh, which turned out really nicely after a little bit of uh, adjustment to it. And my daughter said it was too easy. And she wanted to know if we could do something on the back. So I looked around, found another maze that was about the same size. Uh, we are in a size constraint here within uh, the limits of the router. And this one only had one entrance to the maze and then only one to the center. Essentially, there's, there's only one way to get into the center. So it's a little more complex. Um, as you can see here, this is the original maze. And here are the solutions. There are three solutions to this maze. And uh, it is easy. And that was kind of the intent. This new maze, we'll put that up here as well, like I said, has the one entrance uh, into the maze and one into the solution. And there is just the one solution to that. I'll we'll put that in there. And you can see that it does uh, create more of a complex path to that. The rest of the puzzle, I'll highlight here, is just dead ends. So there's a lot more complexity to this one. And uh, it should, hopefully will be a good deal for us. So. Let's go ahead and take a look at that cut in the router and see how that turns out. Remember to give this video a thumbs up. With our wood blank secured in the router, it's time to zero the Z axis and then the X and Y axis. With the limit switches installed, this process is automated and super easy. Moving back to the center of our material, I'll use the touch probe to set the Z axis so that the surface of the material is our zero point. Using the touch probe makes this step automated and super easy as well. With everything set, it's time to start the cutting. Previous to this, I did ensure that the clamps holding the material down are out of the way and will not interfere with the cutting. Cutting through this basswood is like cutting through butter. It's easy and smooth. I'm only cutting two millimeters at a time and I bet I could do four millimeters deep at a time and it would cut just as well. Occasionally you will notice that all of the chips and sawdust disappear as I pull the vacuum out and clean that up. Once this second pass is complete, then the cleanup process will start where all the little bits that got left behind will get cut away, including the center right there. With the cutting complete, I'll finish up a light vacuuming and then we'll test the maze to see if a BB runs around. We'll start on the outside edge. Seems to be plenty of room. This is the channel that I had added. As we saw in the end of that video, it turned out nice. Unfortunately, our 1.77 inch uh, caliber BB is just a little bit too big. And there's not a whole lot I can do about that on this particular puzzle. So we're gonna have to find a smaller BB or a smaller something that'll fit in there so we can do this puzzle. It was a fun project. We did get the uh, more complex maze going. So 
I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. That really helps us out. Enjoy doing your CNC at home projects.